what brought you here? You're obviously in great shape. What brought you here? Thank you. Um, the Fitness America pageant. I've done probably about four shows in the past, and this one's very local for me. I, since I'm from Connecticut, I like to do this area. Have you done this show before? Yes, this is my third year doing this show. What do you like about this show? Very organized yeah. compared to other shows in, in the area. What do you feel about the fact that it's a show that is drug free? I promote it. I think that if it doesn't come from the earth or from an animal, then you shouldn't be using it. Have you been in shows that aren't drug free? I have not, no. no. Okay. What got you started into doing the shows that basically integrated into, into the fitness routine? I actually saw a fitness on, on TV one year and I was getting a little older, so I said, I'm going to try that. I don't want to live my life with regrets, so let's go for it. And I what, tried it. At what age did you start? You said you got a little older. What age did you start getting into it? I started at age 28. I was going into 29, so at age 28. How do you, how does your routine, when you're getting ready for a show, how does your routine, your daily routine, your diet, your weight training, does that change when you're getting ready for a show as opposed to just in between shows? Oh, dramatically. Uh, I do about a 10-week 10, 10 program where I kind of alter my diet um, down a little bit and change my protein, my carb intake. My workouts change every four weeks, so that's always changing and then the last week is just more kind of running through it and visualizing. Hey, give us the real side. When you're sitting home watching Oprah and the Twinkies are calling you, <laughs> nobody's home and you got a show coming up, how do you handle it? I really just keep focused on where my final goal is and go from there and realize that if that picture on the refrigerator doesn't look what it's going to look like on stage then I shouldn't be eating. So you hired the Twinkies? I don't actually have them in my house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, do you have any children? I have no children. Okay. As far as where women's fitness, especially, where, where do you want that to go in the future? I mean, it's something that seems to be just growing now. I think for the younger women, really, really learning from the older individuals, um, 30 and above, I think for fitness, it really, it's getting so big and so vast into more varieties than just gymnasts and dancers. So I think it's going to open up into more of a realm of just daily individuals coming in and trying it out. Do you think that it should be broken up into age groups and weight groups? Yes and no. I think um, when you're over 30, there's a different physique. Your muscles are more mature than a younger 18, 19 year old. So that would maybe be the only um, downfall to putting them all together. Athletically, in high school and college, what you participate in sports wise? I participate in track and field. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so basically, all individual sports, you've always done individual type sports? Yes. Not team. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much for your